Hello and welcome to the XSharp Academy channel. The goal of this channel is to provide you some information about the XSharp language, where it has come from and uh, how you can use it uh, in order to develop your softwares. As you can see, XSharp belongs to the XBase language family, which is family of language from the 80s. Several companies have provided their own tools or compiler around that and the very first version for Windows were released by the end of the 90s. XSharp belongs to this family so it does respect part of the syntax and uh, support most of uh, the language but it provides also new features as it is based on the .NET framework and on a .NET compiler. So uh, XSharp is really an evolution of this uh, family of tools. So the goal of this XSharp Academy channel is to give you some information about the XSharp language uh, help you to understand the syntax and uh, experiment with the language. So we will start with some samples about console printing and store information in different data types uh, or strings, how we can use operator on these different elements, uh, create some conditional statements, loops, uh, also store information in a sing single or multiple dimension array or collections and we will also have an introduction to the object-oriented programming uh, creation of classes and so on but we will also have more as we will try to provide you some um, videos about uh, debugging your software uh, mixing languages in different solutions um, or projects uh, add some uh, external element and so on Okay, so now in order to start, we will have to install uh, the XSharp uh, language with uh, its compiler and also its own uh, environment. But uh, we will also install the Microsoft Visual Studio as it can also be used as uh, an environment in order to develop software using uh, XSharp language. So, let's go! So in order to get Visual Studio we will need to open a browser and in the address you can type visualstudio.com On the Visual Studio page you can choose the version you want to download we don't need the extra features of the professional and the enterprise version and both versions are not free so the community is enough for what we want to do so let's select the community so you can now save the file on your computer and after download you can simply run the executable don't forget to accept the changes we can close the browser ok so now we are ready we can start the installation by downloading the first component of the installer so the time will depend on your internet access so after download the file will be checked and the installation can start now that the main installer has started you can choose the component you will need to develop your application for our needs we only have to check the .NET desktop development 
you see different elements that will be downloaded and installed on the computer and you can see that we are a little bit above uh, 3 gigabytes so uh, you can start the installation and the sorry not now and the download will start so first on a first run if you have a Microsoft account or a Visual Studio account you can sign in but it's not mandatory so you can do it later then you can choose the appearance of your environment let's keep the default setting Visual Studio knows nothing about uh, XSharp so we will have to close Visual Studio now and now let's go and get XSharp so in order to get XSharp you have to go to the xsharp.info page on the website you go to download then you go to the download for the general public go to the installer section and from there you can download one of the latest version of XSharp so currently we are in the version 2 beta 2 so it's XSharp bundle beta 2 so as you can see here you cannot download the file because you need to first create an account on the website in order to download the file okay let's do so from the from the login screen just sign up and then fill the element in order to create an account on the XSharp website so you can download the installer okay so after login you can see that I'm logged because I have my profile ready I can now go to the latest installer and now I have a new link so I can download please read the license first and then download the installer okay so um, as soon as we have the installer ready to go we can run the installer let's close the browser okay so we are ready to install XSharp again please read the license of XSharp before going to the next statement so you will have some uh, information about the current release and you can choose where to install your XSharp version so you can see that the installer has recognized that we have Visual Studio 2017 and he is also providing the XSharp IDE installer file ok let's proceed to the full installation ok we now have the links to the samples installed on our desktop you can see that the extension to Visual Studio is currently installing so uh, in few minutes 
Visual Studio will be able to create some X Sharp project and solution and this is where we will continue after the installation of the XID uh, environment. Okay, so at the end of the installation you can view the what's new in the readme and you can also run the XSharp ID installer. Let's proceed. Okay, so first in the readme you can see some breaking changes, some information about the Fox program. And you can also have the release note for the current version, so what's changed in the compiler, the runtime, Visual Studio and uh, other information. So we will now proceed to XID installation. So the environment is free, that is provided as is, so uh, you have to agree with that. For continuing, you can choose the installation folder and select the different templates uh, but let's say that we continue with the default settings. Okay, so uh, XID is ready. We will currently skip that step and just finish. Okay, so we now have a full installation of Visual Studio 2017 and we have the full installation of the XSharp language compiler, help, samples and also the XID environment. So we are now ready to proceed to the next uh, video.